because you know ultimately ultimately you know the answer to that it's on us baby it's on us baby no matter how you look at it we champions over here champions so hey we gotta take responsibility we gotta take responsibility for ourselves we gotta take responsibility for our choices even if somebody else has done us wrong hey I mean we're gonna take the loser perspective we're gonna take the winner's perspective the winner perspective is what what did what did we do what was our role we can control that in the future what do we need to ascertain from that we glean from that we grow from that we move on we push see this this is where we're at we don't have to lose a mentality over here we we're not dealing with that that's not that's not even our zone we we don't even have that as 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 our way of getting down we're gonna take this thing look at this thing understand what happened where it came from and what do we need to do to fix it and baby you know your thing is jacked up and you don't spend too much time blaming somebody else listening to people analyze that other person and what they did to you see that whole victim thing what has that done for us I mean, I'm sorry these things have happened to you don't get me wrong we you know it's tough out here it's tough out here but what I'm saying is what do things that make it better do things that's gonna create a change I can't sign on to this stuff that's gonna just keep you jacked up I can't sign on to that you're not you can't get that from me we don't do that loser stuff over here yes he did you wrong Yes, she did you wrong. But who's to blame? Who's to blame? Ultimately, it takes more than one. I used to say it takes two to tangle. Okay, mama didn't, t didn't teach me the right thing about relationship. Daddy wasn't there to show me. It on and on and on. Okay, where I, I hear you. I get it. We talking about at the essence, at the root what we can control and how we're going to take a step forward and another step forward and another step forward how we're going to actually get what we're looking for peace love harmony wellness and by focusing on people that have been uh, a problem in our life versus an opportunity people that have presented tragedy and we don't have a triumph to go behind that with this is this is the problem this is the problem so again, I'm not dismissing the trauma that people have brought. What I'm talking about is some of them folks, you, they gone. We don't even talk to them no more. We don't even associate with them no more. So, but, but they're an ever-present being, concept, construct in our minds and in our hearts. We gotta let that, we gotta let that weight go. That stuff is dragging us, baby. That stuff is dragging us. Man, man, we got too much ballast. Do you hear me? Too much ballast. Let that stuff go. So we can dissect these things. And I, I mean, hey, we here for a Rose German Shepherd. You know, we we can deal with. Okay, this happened, and then you know that happened. And I, okay, it was this person. Okay, 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 okay. And all that is good data to have. But as far as pushing through and taking responsibility, that's a must. It's a must. And I'm talking about the real traumas. You know, when someone maybe violated us in some way. Yes, they were wrong. They were wrong. Okay. True. I, we can't express that enough. Any violation is major problem. Okay any abuse major problem okay so i am not saying that we brought on necessarily the abuse what i'm saying is when it comes to our failed love life the the inability for us to now move forward and have a healthy love life these are still choices of strategies of how to take the necessary steps to rebuild so that we can love again 
You have to separate what I'm saying from what you think I'm saying. Because I didn't say that it's our fault that we were abused. I'm talking about our inability to have healthy relationships going forward past the abuse, past the problem, past the trauma. What are we doing to work through that? We have to take responsibility for the steps that we're taking after the jump that we faced. Do you see? That's why I'm not saying what you think I'm saying. I'm talking about why we can't love fully right now today. Why we're unable to love fully. And a lot of the time, and you know I'm right, it's because of the crap that we're still carrying from what some other person has done to us that we haven't broken free from. That we're still blaming. And it's causing our current and future love lives, lives to be in peril. And you know I'm right.
And, you know, maybe it is easier, you know, like, okay, I'm going to just blame so-and-so for what they did to me. You know, I'm going to just... I'm going to just look at what uh, they shouldn't have done. And, come on. Come on. And see, you know what we do? We bring all of that baggage... And we bring it to the next one. And then we bring it to the next one. And then we wonder why things are not right. And then we have the audacity to also not just bring the baggage into the next relationship, but we wonder why the next person is having these responses to us when we react to them because we're overreacting because we really have been triggered by some past junk that they had nothing to do with. We don't have our junk under control. That's what it comes down to. Baby, we being triggered by some stuff from a person that we don't even associate with anymore. That, that's just out of control. We're out of control. We're being dictated to our own feelings, our own emotions by a person that meant us no good. So who's winning here? We can't have a, a peaceful, harmonious, free giving relationship with a new person. We can't enjoy that because of some crap from somebody else who meant us no good. Now they've already moved on they're already continuing to probably jack somebody else up. But meanwhile, they're still jacking us up. They ain't even thinking about us. We thinking about them more than they thinking about us. Well, come on. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Think about it. Ain't no way in the world you're going to be out enjoying your life. And I know you did me wrong and you're going to be enjoying your life and I'm going to let you have a double, triple, quadruple victory by me not rebuilding and living my life to the fullest. I can't let that happen. And I don't want you to let that happen either. Don't, don't, don't give them that satisfaction. Let them see you balling in a positive way. Let them see you healthy and strong. And I ain't talking about no dog on social media post. And you done concocted a way to make you make it look like you're having a beautiful day and a beautiful this and a great that. And you know you lying. You know that ain't your life. That was one outfit that you had with one sunny day in one location and you went to snapping for the gram. Come on, yo, come on. And now you're going, but, but really, see, what's your motivation? I hope he sees this. I hope she sees this. See, who's controlling who? So when I say let them see, I ain't talking about you out staging some stuff to get back at them. I'm talking about truly living your life the way you're supposed to. Let them see by default, you doing well, swell. You, you dig what I'm saying? Don't stop this fake stuff. Not these fake photos and, and two seconds of bliss. Live that life. I'm living my best life. No, you're not. You know we hurt. You know we still jacked up over that stuff. That picture didn't change your life. And now, and now that you done post the picture, now if you don't get the, the amount of likes that you... So really, it was really targeted at that other dude who we still haven't gotten over. That other woman who we still haven't gotten over. That other bad jacked up relationship that's really what we were posting it for right but now we got to get the likes so now if we don't get the likes from the picture yeah but i thought we was living our best life no once again we're putting ourselves in a vulnerable situation once again we really are being dictated to once again we are proving that we are not in control of our own emotional state and that's that's got to change Why, why am I allowing you to dictate my emotional state? This is my life. You got your life. Why am I letting you control my peace? I, 
can't, you know, I'm going to just open the door to my house and let you rob me. No, I'm not. Then why am I letting you just have free reign and access to my peace within my spirit, within my emotion, within my life? See, if I wouldn't just, I'm going I'm to I'm buy all kind of new stuff in my house, but I'm going to just leave the door open. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to protect what's valuable. There are thorns around that rose bush. You're going to protect what's valuable. So what are we doing to protect ourselves from being victimized by our past? No, no, I know what you're going to do. You're going to be reactionary. You're going to just make sure you don't let it happen again by turning into the Terminator. Now you're just a hardcore so-and-so. It ain't going to happen to me again. See, see, you covered, you covered. That ain't going to have no, how you going to have a happy and loving relationship when really you the Terminator now? Don't nobody want to be Terminator uh, in love, in romance? You don't even, you don't even want to be that way. Again, we turn into that as a reaction to that other cat. You see what I'm saying? So we still don't allow them to transform who we really are. So we still gave away the power. Why are we giving away the power? You don't want to be no doggone Terminator. I mean, it's cool if, if you in a music video and you walking across all decked out and strutting, you know, and everybody ooh and an eye, but you're going to live like that? No, you want to be chilling at the house with your feet up, cool out, in peace, in love. Walking in the park like grandma and granddad. You ain't trying to be walking boss boss chick every every five seconds with your chest out. You want to be able to relax. Let your hair down. Come on now. Talk to me. See, we getting all twisted. You ain't trying to be boss chick. 24-7? That's a defense mechanism. Well, how about first of all, first of all, we truly heal from the trauma that is stimulating this it ain't gonna happen to me ism let's chart this stuff out what happened how did it happen what was my role in it what do i what do i need to do within myself well, i'm working on me no you're not what you're doing is is turn turn into the terminator if you're really working on yourself you'd be in some cave in some cave somewhere meditating or something Trying to get you, trying to get your mind right, trying to get your spirit in, 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 trying to get the oneness and direction from God. But you're not doing that. You just turn it into a Terminator. You're talking about something you working on yourself. And, and 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 that's not producing these fruitful, peaceful love lives. It's not doing it. Stop just becoming hard, hard, hard. Unless that's what you really wanted to do from birth you feel me but you weren't that way you were sweet you were kind you were loving we want to get to, we want to get some of that back now we got to give it to the right person this time don't get me wrong we have to give it to the right person but that's what we want to give we want to give that joy again we want to give that happiness, that peace. That's where we want to be. That's where we want to be. If I put a baby in your arms right now, or I put one of these puppies in your arms right now, you're going to be free and happy and smile and feel joyful. Right now, I put this puppy in your arms. You oh, so you're going to let your defenses down. That's, that's the you I'm talking about. You with the puppy. You as a little girl, you as a little dude the joy dancing like nobody's watching you done heard it before why because then you are open to love and be loved can you feel it versus the absence of that because we're protecting ourselves from some dummy over there skip him skip her let's move on by truly healing and getting back to the essence of who we really desire to be, which was not a Terminator. A boss chick mad at the world. Because when you come to me, I ain't going for it. I'm going to call you on it. 
you scared. That's what I say to you. I look at you and I'm I'm like, baby, you you I know you need a hug.
be very, very, very careful. Be very careful of your network of friends, people to whom and which you choose to go through these tough times with. You know, they say misery loves company. But I want you to be well, and I want you to go forward. I want you to prosper. And a lot of your so-called friends may not be the ones that you need to be hanging with through these tough times. If your little peer group is just stroking the flame of your hatred towards them other cats, I'm already telling you that's not that's not working for you. That's just creating the environment where you're becoming that terminator quote unquote, but it's not the true healing you need. It's not the true renovation and rejuvenation that we need. So be careful is the wound. Be careful of your so-called peer group and network. So if you look around yourself and auntie is just helping you run down the man and your friends are just helping you run down the man and talk about how bad this is, how bad. Okay, come on now. When has that ever worked? Think about it. Think about it. You just stroke in stuff. You feed stuff that is not producing the true person you want to be. It's producing this other person. And yeah, it can help you get that. Because that's how they got the way they are. Where folks don't want to be with them. That's why she ain't got no healthy relationship running her mouth. And you dumb enough to listen to it. Just because she your friend don't mean she know what time it is. She may be giving you the best that she's got. As in Luther Van Draw, giving you the best that she's got. That don't mean it's what you need. That's a foregone conclusion. We already see how that stuff goes. There's there's already millions of, especially in America, there's already millions of y'all angry women walking around based on the trauma from some other dude. We already see that. What is the end result? Unhappy? Unfulfilled? Angry? And defensive guns blazing, wait, waiting for that next dude to, to show me one of them trigger signs so I can... <laughs> Come on, y'all. Come on. We're not fixing the real problem. That's why we have to take responsibility for our failed love lives. We have to take the responsibility. So caution, who are you, who are you surrounding yourself with? And what are they giving you? Because at the time, it might be what you think you wanted. You know, somebody that misery loves company. Somebody to just, you know, help you boo-hoo and, and talk about how bad things are. And, you know, how much you can't stand this other person but then what do they help you with anything else so y'all go what go get drunk to forget about your problems okay that didn't fix it so she gonna get you out the house that didn't fix it you gonna get the group of five or six or ten of you and go take a cruise okay but that didn't fix it you dig what I'm saying so you do all these repetitive things which makes you just a robot like I'm telling you, when you go to that cruise, what do you see? Another group of 10 women trying to do the dog on the same thing. Over there's another group and over there's another group and over there's another group. You ain't doing nothing new. You ain't impressing me. Use a robot. You're doing exactly what's predicted that you would do. But you're not fixing the stuff. Again, your butt needs to be in some cave with your legs crossed, hands up, Head down, talk about some um, Lord, direct me, Lord, fix me. Something, <laughs> I mean, something. 
but you getting drunk and taking a cruise and, and taking some pictures for the gram with, with, your, with your stuff all hanging out. That ain't, come on now. Talking about you living your best life. That, that ain't doing it. Uh, hey, okay, okay. Do it your way. And what I'm telling you is there's a whole lot of other cats who've been doing the same thing and they are not happy after doing it all. They're the same ones advising you saying, yep, girl, I, I know exactly what you're saying. Yep, I, sh I went through the same thing, see? <laughs> I mean, I want you to find yourself again so that 20 years from now, you're not still dealing with this angry version of yourself. Is that okay? Is that all right? Can, can we get rid of the angry version of you? Can we do something about the angry version of you? We, we don't, we've got enough anger in the world. We don't need another angry you. Vengeful, spiteful you. I'm, I'm mad enough for everybody, okay? So, so let's get some people that have some joy around them. But let me just be the angry one. Y'all be happy. Smile again, baby. Smile again, baby. You have such a pretty smile. Show the world. Smile again, baby.
when you say, I owe it to myself. What do you owe yourself? I owe it to myself to be happy. Do you really mean that? Or do you mean I owe it to myself to protect myself from the possibility of ever being hurt again? There's a difference. The possibility of being hurt is the first cousin, as in blood relative, of love. You know it. It's as clear as day. That's the tough call. That yes, finding love, being in love, giving love, being open to receiving love, it comes at a price. And you know it. And that price is your, you and I being vulnerable to the possibility. Our job obviously is to do the best we can to be as wise as we can to circumvent unnecessary, improper, truly abusive situations. But that is very different from being available for love. Listen to those words being available for love. That's strong stuff right there. Am I truly available? Yeah, I want to be loved. Yeah, I want love. That That's not what we're talking about. Available for love. And love, there's a dance to that. See? You don't want to stomp your way through love. There's poetry to love. There's passion to love. There's, there's fluidity to love. There's vibration. So are you available to that? The art of love. Are you available to that? Shout out to brother Michael Fox. <laughs> Shout out to the brother Franks. Are, are you available to love? To be loved? So who's responsible? Yes, they have done us wrong. Yes, they have hurt us. Yes, they have brought trauma. But going forward, for our lives to be full of peace and love, we take responsibility for that. And we work the problem. And the problem is not them, because they're gone. Part of the problem might be their influence in our memories that we're not getting out of our head and our spirit, right? talked about that so we're still talking about our role our choice to make this better so you owe it to yourself to do what to be available truly available not just I'm single and I want love no to be available for the peace of love for the giving and the sharing of love because that's not selfish that's very unselfish. Are you prepared to be unselfish? Are we healed enough? Are we whole enough to be unselfish? Are we vulnerable enough to the music of love to be unselfish? It's German Shepherds.
we're going to fight the good fight. Hang with us. So we can get there together.
some kind of butterfly. Baby, you give me a bit that I You whip up my appetite.